Hello and welcome to the first ever Heart of America Athletic Conference Men's Golf Media Day. I'm your host, Derek Johnson. I host Rock Chalk Sports Talk on KLWN in Lawrence. And today we have Evangel University head coach John Jenkins and Tayton Hopkins from the Evangel Valor golf team. Uh, coach, starting with you, tell us a little bit about Tayton um, and, and his importance to the program. Yeah, I mean, Tayton, this is, he, he came in the spring of last year and started playing for us. Uh, I recruited him out of high school, but the, the football coaches were evidently a little more persuasive than I am, and he decided to be a football player to start. And so uh, I let him do that reluctantly, um, but shoulder injury, unfortunate for his football career, but fortunate for our golf team, uh, allowed him to step away from football and start playing golf. Um, we loved having him uh, come over here, and he's a great leader. Uh, obviously, a really good player. Had a great week this week up in Lawrence, and uh, we're we're excited to have him on the team. Uh, Tayton, uh, when did you start playing golf, and and when did that become a a, a real sport for you, and, and something you were interested in in pursuing uh, past the the high school career? Yeah, um, I actually played my first tournament when I was nine years old. Um, I just loved the opportunity to uh, compete um, in everything I do. Um, took it pretty seriously all growing up. Uh, and the way I described it in high school, I, I liked golf and I loved football. Um, and so from that perspective, uh, I decided to, to roll with that. But I always, I always took it pretty seriously. Um, and I think just at the collegiate level now, um, that competition's heightened. And, and that makes me want to compete even harder. So, yeah. Is there anything that the football helped you with golf or, or maybe vice versa that golf helped you with football? Yeah, I think that uh, football helped me, like, from a mental perspective with golf, like handling pressure. Um, I think that uh, just just taking it, like, one shot at a time or one play at a time football-wise uh, made me realize, like, kind of forget about what you did um, on the last hole or the last shot and just move on um, and realize that let's shift our focus to what's uh, going on in front of us and not what happened behind us. Uh, Coach, there's quite a few courses out in Springfield and in the Branson area. What's the home course that that Evangel plays on? And uh, I guess how many courses are there that are kind of accessible for the team? Yeah, we've we've got a really good setup here in Springfield. The Bill and Payne Stewart is a municipal course here just a a couple miles north of campus. And so convenience wise, that's that's usually where the players end up going. Uh, And we've got a deal set up where they can practice and play there whenever they need to. Um, but a couple other courses in town allow us to come out and, and use them during the week. Millwood lets us play on Tuesdays, a uh, really nice private club here in town. Uh, Twin Oaks um, lets us play on Thursdays, and we really appreciate the support of those two, two uh, courses. And then we've got Rivercut and Horton Smith as well, the other two public courses here in town. Um, and we, we usually use those once, once a week or so. Um, so we get to see a, a few different courses, different styles of courses to, to practice all the different parts of our game. Um, but yeah, we've got some a really good setup as far as the, the facilities as we get to compete. Uh, Tayton, what's how would you describe, I guess, Coach Jenkins to somebody else? And, and what are some of the, the biggest uh, values or, or teaching moments or, or coaching things that he likes to instill on the team? Yeah, um, I'd probably describe him as probably one of the most caring coaches I've ever had. Um, to him, it's not, it's like, it doesn't matter what you shoot. Um, it's all about just the kind of person you are. Um, and no matter what you do, he's still going to love on you. Um, whether you shoot a hundred or you shoot 60, there's no, no difference in how he treats you. Um, and I think that's honestly what I respect most about him. Um, and I think that's why it makes all of us honestly want to play, uh, to our best ability for him. So, uh, coach, uh, tell us a little about the team, but besides Tayton, who are some of the other players we should be on the lookout for here in the spring? Sure. Reagan Streck, um, Played, played one bag for us um, all fall, all last year as well. Um, and he's a really good player, one of the top players in the conference in the golf stat rankings. Um, great leader, too. All the guys look up to him and respect him. So enjoy having him on the team and look forward to what he's going to do this year. Uh, Thomas Bolin has come in as a freshman, and he's, he's played really well for us. And, and he's got some talent, and I'm looking forward to his career at Evangel. Uh, and, and he's growing into collegiate golf. It's a little different from high school golf. So um, kind of kind of working in, working his way into how to compete at this level uh, and learning a lot. And then uh, his roommate, actually, Dylan Seitz, is another freshman that's come in from, from Dexter, Missouri. And uh, he's a good player, solid, uh, 
we trust that anytime he goes out there, he's going to do his best and, and give us a good score. Uh, this week we took Cole Eagleberger. He had, he had been coming back from a knee injury last year and didn't get to play in the fall, but man, he's been playing well this, this spring. And if he can put it together, that makes us, makes us pretty deep. And we've got, we've got another seven guys behind them that, that all are working hard. Uh, and I think any given week, you know, one of those guys can step up and start posting good scores. And uh, I think having depth like that really helps to push all the guys, whether they're in the top five or they're working to get there, uh, they know they've got to keep playing well and, and keep working hard in order to, to keep their spot. And so I think that's good for everybody. How much have you seen the game grow on, on both the collegiate side and your time at Evangel in the heart and, and even in, I guess, the Springfield area, kind of on the youth side? Uh, I would say it's been exponential. I, we've got, I've got more interest. I get more emails, more prospects wanting to, to get a chance to play golf at the collegiate level than, than ever in the last seven years. It's just, it grows every year, uh, which is great. It's, it's great. Um, as a coach, I know it's competitive for high school seniors looking for a place to play. There's, there's not nearly as many roster spots available just because there's so many really good players. And, um, that's good that even at the NAIA level, we have really, really competitive players. Um, and so as, as the game grows in popularity, um, I think even during the pandemic, it was one of those things that people could still play. And you had a lot of, play, you know, athletes that were playing other sports. They couldn't play their sport during that time. So they got out on the golf course and were like, Hey, this is kind of fun. And so, uh, they got interested and I get, I get a lot of guys that say, Hey, I started playing back in 2020, loved it and would love a chance to come play at the collegiate level. So that's, that's expanded the number of players we had to choose from. Um, and the talent level because of that has grown as well. So um, it's it's an easy time to be a recruiter, but it's also difficult because there's only so many spots you can fill on a roster. So uh, we're having fun bringing in a lot of guys and um, they have fun competing with each other and, and uh, it's been good. Uh, Tayton, do you have a, a favorite club in your bag or a favorite swing? Um, I feel like with a wedge in my hand, I can compete with anyone in the country. Um, so I'd probably just say any of my wedge hitting shots that kind of rip back at the pin and and i think that uh yeah with those i can compete with anyone so awesome well coach tayton appreciate the time good luck here in 2023 thank you thanks there appreciate it